Hi everybody, welcome back for a, another video. I have something interesting today that I have added to my uh, 2023 planning lineup. And I'm trying a new tripod and it looks like it might be jiggling and so I'm sorry for that because the table is a little unsteady. <clears throat> but what we have here is a Trapper Keeper. I bought this Trapper Keeper when they came back out with them a little over a year ago. And I use it to house, um, like planning for the household, uh, like our budgets and stuff like that. It has like the warranty to the new refrigerator, to the air fryer, to the air conditioner and stuff like that. So that's why I have this standard uh, letter size. I think they call it a letter size. It's, um, the folders are eight and a half by 11. It says portfolio, but, and so I've got a calendar in here and a bunch of papers. But this is something new that they came out with recently. And it looks like, you know, the typical Trapper Keeper we had in you know, the, the blue one, which they, they made one, and except it is smaller. And you'll see it is like half letter. It is eight and a half by 11, or eight and a half by five and a half. And this one is called the Monthly Planner. And it came with a, it came with inserts, a monthly planner refill with tabs, um, and it was a Sunday start, you know, very typical of the Mead, the company that makes these, uh, very typical of their typical monthly planners. I think they own Day Runner. It looks like a Day Runner uh, calendar, but it just says Trapper Keeper. Um, and then at the end, there was some notes pages. I am not a fan of a Sunday start calendar, so I took it out. <laughs> and uh, so there are a few things that I bought for this. Number one, there's this clip back here. So I bought some Amazon Basics notepads because why not? So I bought a box of 12 of these. And it's just going to be for random notes and stuff like that on the go. Um, I did buy some dividers for it. The dividers I bought were by Avery. And they are the Style Edge Insertable Plastic Dividers. They're plastic PVC free. And what you'll see, I'll just do it with the, the back here, but... See how you can slide a piece of paper in there? They came with these tabs that you can print on and then they're perforated and pop them out and then put that in here instead of having to use stickers or anything like that. So I thought that was really unique. Um, and I also, I liked the colors. They look very, um, it, it doesn't have a, you know, sometimes they have like a, this is the Sierra or the Coral or the whatever, um, but they, they don't have that. And it fits the three or seven ring binders like this. You'll see there are extra holes, but this is a three ring binder. It is a half letter or eight and a half by five and a half three ring binder. So the inserts, let's talk inserts first. We'll talk about these in a minute. I went to Peanuts Planner Co. Facebook group and what I did was I got every free printable 
in the half letter size. So this is what they call the perpetual calendar. You've got January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, and then September, October, November, December. And I'm gonna be using these for um, keeping track of birthdays and things that just reoccur. I printed them once, there's no like um, year, so it's just things that will happen on those days yearly. And so I've got that. Now this is an insert that I bought right around the time the pandemic started. Um, this is a So Much Crafting and it's a digital and it is a monthly tracker. So you've got these blank lines for whatever, and then you've got a checkbox for each month. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Very simple, straightforward. I haven't decided how I'm gonna use it, but I have it there. Now, this is a free calendar. It is one that you can get from Peanuts Planner Co. And it is her monthly calendar for 2023, half letter. One thing I love about the half letter is all you have to do is print it, duplex it, either use your machine to duplex it or manually duplex it, and you just cut it in half and hole punch it. And it is the monthly calendar with the month on two pages. And so I've got all of my performances <laughs> set for the next five months. <laughs> Plus there's a couple of others that have just been added. Um, and then I've got it printed throughout the remainder of the year, which I've got next year's dates to put in that I haven't, or next season. Um, and then here we have another, one of those dividers. And then here, this is another so much crafting insert that I purchased during the pandemic. You can buy some of their inserts uh, as digital downloads. And this is like the bill tracker. And what I love about it is there's no year, it's just a month. Um, you can print these single-sided or double-sided. I printed them double-sided. Um, and what I'll, I did is I wrote 2023. So if we don't use this page, this could be t next year, 2024. Um, this, you know, I, I don't see us having more than how many, two, four, six, eight, ten. wait, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19. I can't imagine us having more than like 19, like bill bills. Um, but you never know. We'll see. And I can just print since it's a digital file, another one, and there you go. Um, and then I needed a weekly calendar. So this is the free Peanuts Planner Co. where, let me show you a blank one, where you have a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, on the two pages. You have an open box for, you know, like maybe like some goals you wanna get done this week or um, some notes, a quote, whatever. You've got your daily tracker and there's certain things I track. Some people use these for like lunch and dinner for your um, meals or for specific other things. And then here you've got your running to-do list. I sometimes turn it into a, like here's like for Trader Joe's, I have a list of some things to get, miscellaneous, items that I can't get there, like kitty litter or whatever. Um, and so I really like this weekly setup. It's also free. You can get it in all sizes um, as a free insert. So I, I use it. And then the next thing is I printed just a bunch of grid paper. It's the Peanuts Planner Co. It's free. She also has dot grid lines. I think those are all she has, grid, dot grid, and lined. And then the last thing I have here at the end is a grocery guide. 
and you see there's two columns and you can decide, um, you know, like different ways of doing it. You could like write a recipe and then the items needed for the recipe. Um, something I've done in the past is I've, if I have multiple stores I need to go to, I'll write like Trader Joe's and what we're getting there, Whole Foods or Sprouts or Aldi or Walmart, and then, you know, have my list there. Or you could do like, you know, like produce, dairy, freezer, you know, use it however you want. So it's a grocery guide. So I printed those. Then I have a folder here in the back. It's a, this is a week's calendar that I printed for my mother. <laughs> she has a Hobonichi Weeks print pression. And that's, that's what I have in there. Now, these uh, dashboards, um, let me pull one out. I designed them for you to print on each side. And what I chose to do, just to give it a little bit more structure, was I took a piece of cardstock and printed what I wanted on the front and the back on one page and then folded it in half and hole punched it. Now, hole punching is a little bit difficult. They do make a hole puncher that is set up like this. I couldn't find one at my Staples, my Office Max, Office Depot. They didn't have any, but I do have this swing line, I always think of office space, swing line um, hole punch that has, you can see back here, movable punches. The center one stays and then the outer two move. And all I did was take one of the original inserts, set it up here, fold this, stick it in and hole punch it. and. There you go. Very, very, very simple. Um, these, oh, uh, what do you want to call them? Dashboards or, I don't know. I think they look great underneath the sort of frosted plastic. And you can see it says like Avery down there at the bottom. I'm not sure if they all do. No, just the top one does. Um, I designed these on Canva. And so they like each section has a number and I just have be one with nature. There's little baby Seamus looking out the bedroom window. He's laying on my pillow and there's the window looking at the trees in the morning. And there's um, a couple of postcards I made for my Patreon and some artwork that I am watercoloring. This second one, here's uh, a matcha latte of mine with two of my chic sparrows. Here's uh, one of my flutes with some music that we performed maybe six, seven years ago that concert was. I just, I thought it looked great. It says, be in awe of na nature's magic. And on the back, I have my first Foxy fix with some coffee, Lila in a postal box, and another matcha latte. The, oh, the third one says, get back to your roots and stay grounded. So I put two of my artworks, a lemon tree, a stamp that I got from James Luke Burke that I stamped on there, and then the rest of it is my artwork. And then on the back, I have Lila Lane with a bunch of my traveler's notebooks and ring binders. I think those are all Foxy Fix and um, Filofax. That's what I had on that table at that time. Here's my flute at the Tulsa, Oklahoma Aquarium. And I've been making my own dividers with some watercolor paper and just, I did some little leaves. This one, number four, says, breathe it all in, feel more alive. There's my little baby girl, Lila. And on the back is my flute, one of my flutes, music, and I've got everything all set up for a day of online teaching. My logo that I made, Planning with John. 
And number five, the fifth the divider, uh, lean more into the good things in your life. And there's Seamus and Lila. And on the back is Chad hugging Seamus, a photo of me and my broke flute, and my husband Chad and I on our wedding day. We had a really nice, simple ceremony. So, this is going to be my planner that I have on the desk at home. Oops, Lila hair. Every, every, we get cat hair everywhere. There, I think I got it. So, this is going to be my planner at home for the year. And I'm loving it and I hope you haven't been shaking that much. I don't think I'm going to be able to use this tripod or this arm with this desk. So what I will do is I will link everything down below. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.